Hello, I'm Arnold Bullock. I'm the Director of Men's Health at Washington University School of Medicine, Division of Urologic Surgery. I do a lot of penile implants, and I was looking online, and I was sort of surprised to see that we don't have really good demonstration of uh, how an implant works. And so I call this our penile implant model, and it's from Boston Scientific. And believe it or not, I show this when men come in and they're interested in the definitive means of correcting erectile dysfunction. And uh, many men will respond to the oral medications. There's some men who don't mind doing penile injections, but realistically, if you want to fix the problem that, such that you can have erections that occur spontaneously within a matter of seconds, you can create an erection that will last for as long as you would desire to keep the erection and of the degree of rigidity that you prefer that's accomplished with the penile implant. So there are a lot of misunderstandings about penile implants. So I like to show this model because this model actually has the Boston Scientific 700 LGX implant in this penis. Now some people like myself like to make an incision that's about an inch and a half wide right at the base of the penis. In fact, just one finger breadth over the penis. And some people like to put the implant in that what's called a penal scrotal incision right here. I prefer the above because I think it um, leads to less discomfort, lower risk of infection. It's just my, my way of uh, doing it for most men. But when men think about an implant, they think it's something that's cumbersome and it's obvious to people. The impl this model shows that you can have an implant in walk around naked in like a, you know, a public swimming pool, um, you know, bathroom, and no, no one will know. They think that you, the pump in the scrotum would be obvious. Well, obviously in this model, person has a fairly narrow scrotum, the pump is in there. I had a gentleman today who says, oh, you take the testicles out first. Now, what man's going to let you take his testicles out? So there's a testicle on the left, a testicle on the right, and the pump sits in the middle. How easy is it to operate this thing? It's pretty easy. You, you just, um, I'm trying to show it while I keep it in frame. The pump, you just grab it between your fingers and as you operate the pump, you will see that the implant will inflate. And so, how many pumps does it take? Well, it depends on how long a person's you know, penis is, how long and how wide. But as you pump it, um, the, the device will, will get erect. And uh, so, now some people would prefer to make their penis really firm and other people would say, well, you don't need to make it as hard as you could. But once this implant is up, it doesn't matter what you do. You can lay on your back, you can lay on your side, you could be in your bedroom, in the basement, in the ocean, in the woods, it doesn't matter. This thing will work wherever you are. Um, and so this is an implant. And it will stay like this, even for, you know, it'll stay like this for an hour or two hours. Again, most people just keep it inflated until they're done. When you are finished, there's a pump on, there's a button on that same pump. You hit the button and it goes right down. Now, once you hit the pump, you can squeeze the rest of it out. And that's, that's how an implant works. Um, and so that's, that's a penile implant demonstration. It's not obvious. The sensation should be the same. It takes about an hour to put it in. We do most of them as an outpatient. It's covered by most insurances. The risk of infection in, in urologic surgeons or plastic surgeons who do a lot of implants is one to two percent or less for the, um, you know, for the more practiced and more experienced implanters. Um, I think it's a reasonable option that people should consider and uh, again, I'm Arnold Bullock. Um, I walk, I'm at Washington University in St. Louis. Uh, this is, uh, I think, is a great model to, to give a person a sense of exactly how an implant works and what you can expect from it. Well, if you have any questions, look me up. Okay, thanks. Bye.